Despite all the jokes that we heard about coming to Lafayette, we have thoroughly enjoyed our stay in this lovely little town in Louisiana. Hey, those guys in red down there aren't joking. Southwestern Louisiana wearing white pants for the first time. They usually wear red on red in the kickoff. Richie Cunningham boots it deep into the end zone. Alabama will take over on the 20. Van Ray Alexander leads the Raging Cajuns in tackles. And Martin Houston gets the handoff up the middle and gets the first down. Tackled by that man, Van Ray Alexander. That was Derek Lassick. Second and 10. There's the counter draw to Kevin Turner, who gets free and gets knocked out of bounds at about the 49-yard line. Nice pickup and a great play. Gain of 16. Kevin Turner, a pickup of 16. Gary Hollingsworth, first and 10 from the 49, and there's that man Turner again, bullying his way close to another first down. He might have gotten it. It's going to be close. A gain of nine. This is a team you can run on. Here comes Hollingsworth, second and one. The handoff goes to Chris Anderson, the freshman in the game, and he gets the first down. Louisiana Tech beat Southwestern Louisiana last week. Jason Davis had 302 yards on the ground. Alabama tune it up on the ground themselves. Here's Anderson, the freshman to play. He breaks it. He's at the 20, the 10. He's going to go all the way, but unfortunately, it will be called back. A run of 39 yards for the freshman. But there's a big yellow flag laying back at the 40-yard line. Third down and 15 from the 44. From the shotgun, Gary Hollingsworth. Has a man wide open. Donnie Finkley catches it down to the 23-yard line. First down, Crimson Tide. Bootleg. Wide open, Steve Buskey, the big 6-6 tight end, gets down to the one-yard line. Nifty play, nifty face. <laughs> I like that. Well, that's a page out of an old book. The most you ever had was 39 for a season. Here's Hollingsworth. Looking to pass, wide open is Steve Buskey. Buskey, the touchdown for the Tide. 8.05 on the clock, and Alabama goes up 6-0. That was an impressive drive. So here comes southwestern Louisiana. James Freeman in the run and shoot. Looks to pass and scramble. That's what the run and shoot's all about. And he gets wide open. A big-time gain up to the 50-yard line. Knocked out of bounds. James Freeman, a gain of 19 yards. There you see uh, his passing statistics and uh, not a whole lot to brag about. 38 for 86. But he's back to pass this time and finds a wide open receiver. Number 82 is Quint McCollum. It's third and one from the 40. And it looks like they get the first down. It's Keenan Thomas, the fullback. A 5'11", 185-pound sophomore gets the first down. 5.53 to go here in the first quarter. James Freeman brings his team to the line. And he's back to pass again in the run and shoot. And he has an open receiver, but overthrew him, and a flag is down. Looks like Mark McMillian is going to be called for an, some form of interference. First and 10 from the 26, 5.41 to go. James Freeman done a good job running this offense so far as he works out of a tackle by Spencer Hammond and breaks free. Brought down by Robert Stewart at the 20-yard line. Nifty play there by our main man, James Freeman. And that's what they described it as, a stress seizure. Just too much pressure on the young man. But he's back and playing well now. Uh, nearly intercepted. It is intercepted. McMillian gets the tip from Derek Orton, and he might go down to the 47-yard line. For a moment, it looked like he would break three farther, a 35-yard return for Mark McMillian. There's the stats for the season. It's second and five. And Lassick again, up and over, down to the 44. It's going to be close. He might have gotten the first down. Ken Fogg makes the stop. Third and one. It's Lassick. No, Martin Houston for the first down, brought down by Van Ray Alexander. Ricky, you must love this guy, Van Ray. <laughs> Back to pass goes Gary, setting up the screen, and he overthrows Derek Lassen. And a penalty. Late hit. Third and four from the 14. Hollingsworth back to pass. And it's in and out of the hands of Kevin Turner. That'll stop the clock. The 32-yard field goal attempt by Philip Doyle. 
Missed only once this year, seven of eight. Doyle puts it up, and it is good. Alabama goes up 10-0, a minute 10 to play here in the first quarter. Freeman back to pass. He's a scrambler. And he gets brought down by Eric Curry and a host of others. Big loss. And back to punt now, Kim Abair. No relation to Bobby Abair. We've been told Abair is about as common as the name Smith and Jones here in the state of Louisiana. Abair only averaging about 34 yards of punt, and it's another short punt taken by Jeff Mitchell. Nice grab and a nice little run back. Mike, thank you. Second and 10, 14, 14 on the clock from the 37-yard line. Buskey in motion, handoff up front, and he breaks free. That's Junior Sewell, I do believe. He scored twice against Vandy. He's brought down at the eight-yard line. They don't score here. Look for Philip Doyle. Back to pass. And Lamont broke in instead of out. It goes incomplete, and Doyle will come on. There's a good shot of Jeff Wall, the little fellow who does nothing but hold for extra points and field goals and does a terrific job. His dad, Pinky Wall, a longtime player for Alabama. Philip Doyle trying for his ninth field goal of the year, and uh, he makes it just barely. Knuckle through. It's good, though. Taiwan Hayes, a true freshman, 5'9", 180 pounds, will run the show for the Raging Cajuns. And here's the option play, and he's going to run it himself. Nice run. Close to the first down, gain of nine, maybe more. Big play, very important for southwestern Louisiana. Third and two from the 38. 11-15 on the clock, Taiwan keeps it himself again, gets close, but I think he's going to be short. They'll have to punt it away. Danny played the final three quarters against Vandy last week. Lassick goes over the right side, breaks free. Nifty run, sidesteps it up, close to the first down. Second and one from the 37. Classic gets stopped for a loss. Good defense by Southwestern Louisiana. James Atkins on the stop. That's the big fella right there. Taiwan Hayes brings the Cajuns up. Second and nine from the 32. Back to pass. His first attempt, and he will be brought down for a loss. Nope. Wiggles his way out of it. And he's got a lot of room to run. Up to the 47, 50, 49 yard line. Taiwan Hayes juked and jived his way for a gain of 18 yards. Pretty play. Man in motion, and again, it looks like they had a little problem with the signals, and Taiwan Hayes again wiggles out of a couple of tackles. Taiwan Hayes finally gets dragged down short of the first down. Southwestern Louisiana will punt it away. Tough spot for a quarterback. Quick snap. Chris Anderson, the freshman, goes up and gets hammered by Van Ray Alexander. We'll say, say his name a bunch today, a gain of five. 11 tackles for Alexander of Southwestern Louisiana. Barger in the game replacing George Wilson. The handoff, third and short, and it's a first down. Kevin Turner bulls his way forward. 4.15 on the clock. Oh, I don't know. Too early. <laughs> One big run by the Cajuns. This thing is uh, it's back to too, being too tight. <laughs> Hollingsworth from the shotgun. Third and 10. Gary pumps left, rolls right, and finds a wide open man for 18 yards. That's Here Cole, Lorenzo Cole. Hollingsworth did a nice job of scrambling out of trouble there. There's the play action fake. Cole. Lorenzo, another nice grab. Did he get it? Sure did. Stayed in bounds. And it's Chris Anderson. Nifty move, steps out of trouble, grabs a first down. In motion, Buskey. Robert Jones from Parker High School in Birmingham wiggles his way up close to the five-yard line. Carry us down to the six. Going for the field goal, Philip Doyle trying for his third kick in the day. A 23-yarder for Philip Doyle. Wall with a hold. The kick is good, and Doyle gives Alabama a 16-0 lead. He proves to be a heck of a weapon. Taiwan Hayes, first and 15 from the 27, and this little rascal is going to scramble. Flag down on the play. Pendleton, he's wrestled down a gain of uh, about eight, but uh, it's going to be called back holding on southwestern Louisiana. 
The holding call was on Paul Norton, and he held George uh, Thornton pretty good. First and 25 from the 17, 21 ticks to go. It's the draw play. And Sam Eager gets his first uh, chance to run the ball, and he gets brought down quickly. Ten seconds and counting. It looks like the Raging Cajuns will let this uh, tick down to double zero and go inside and talk about it. They're holding on. Give their defense some credit. Could be much worse. There it is. Into the first half of play. And Alabama leads the Raging Cajuns on their home turf, the Swamp, 16 to nothing. Butler in motion, Freeman back to pass. Will he pass or will he run? Well, he wants to pass this time, and he finds an open receiver. Number 17, Charlie Foreman, nice grab of 18 yards. First and 10 from the 49. Back to pass, he's rolling left, and he slips on the turf, so they finally get uh, a slip of their own. That time Eric Curry putting a lot of pressure. Second and five from the 32. Handoff up the middle to Kevin Turner, who stretches forward, and he's getting close. That was a nice play from Fogg. Second and 10 from the 40. Hollingsworth back to pass and overshoots Busky again. And a flag down. It looks like they're going to catch uh, Jonas Francois. Hot air balloon. That's the Cajun version of the blimp, and there's another one. They're all over the place. We told you it was a festive atmosphere. Third and five from the 45. Hollingsworth back to pass. And he undershoots Lamont Russell. Ricky, would you say this is a critical possession for the Cajuns? Taiwan Hayes in at quarterback. Ball's loose. Alabama might have recovered. There was a mess up on the exchange. Taiwan Hayes, the new quarterback, did fumble, and Alabama recovers. Blitz. Gary sees it. Open is Lamont, the ball under thrown. Looks like Philip Doyle will be called on again. Philip Doyle from 32 yards, already three out of three, and make him four out of four. Doyle connects, seven for eight coming into the game, and now he's 11 for 12. Philip Doyle, a terrific year, 7.40 to play. Taiwan Hayes looks to run. There he goes. Flag down. He gets the first down, but let's check out the flag on the play. You're going to get hurt. Linebackers aren't six foot one, 215 anymore. They're six foot three, 252. They can run four fives. Maybe you ought to just keep running the football. That seems to be his most effective play. And he's going to get brought down. Eric Curry with a sack. Two on the day, five for the season. Third and 18 from the 31. Six and a half to play in the third quarter. James Freeman trying to pick up a big chunk here. Scrambles right, looks left. Wide open is a man. First down, Southwest Louisiana, Quint McCollum. Well, our man James Freeman did a little ad-libbing from the quarterback slot. First and 10 from the 46. Uh-oh. Not that time. Sometimes when you ad-lib, it comes out great. Other times you wind up uh, on the turf. You're getting good at that Bear Bryant imitation, Scott. <laughs> well, I heard enough of it. <laughs> Gary from the shotgun looks for a first down, and he gets nailed from behind by Dwayne Fontenet. Ten men on the line. They're coming at Stan Moss. Let's see if Stan can get it off. And he does easily. A low line drive kick. Flag down on the play. Fielded by Butler back on his 42. Check that, that's Todd Scott. Gets wrestled down quickly, but a flag is down. A 40-yard punt, four-yard return. They're having communication problems. That's why Stokely was steam. Too many men. Too many men for the Cajuns. 2.55 to play in the third quarter. Gary looks to complete a pass, Thanks. and he does. They're going to count it. Yes, it's complete. Second and six from the 47. Hand off to Martin Houston, who finds a big gaping hole, and he breaks free. He could go all the way, but doesn't. Gets pulled down by, by William Sims at the 13. Third and nine. Philip Doyle is getting his leg limber, but he doesn't want to come on it unless it's an extra blitz. point. The blitz works. Gary brought down by William Sims for a loss. 
We're back. Philip Doyle trying for his fifth field goal of the day. Up and good. 22-0 Alabama. Doyle has now tied the Cajun field record with five in one football game. Is that Mr. Freeman at quarterback? Yes, it is. Fading back. Pressure. Pressure up the middle. And it's completed to Clint McCollum. There goes McCollum. Russell down at the 38-yard line from behind by George Teague. And there's a flag on the play. Let's bring it back. Okay, third and 23 from the 15. James Freeman is trying to pull a miracle out of his bag. And he doesn't as he slips on the turf. A loss of five. So Mr. Bear comes on, who's had a bad day punting. He's Danny looking for the first completion of his career. He's 0 for 7. Doesn't want to try for it. He runs it up the middle gets tackled. People were confused as can be. Again, kind of a slow start from the line, but Freeman connects with McCollum. He gets pushed out of bounds hard, which brings the crowd onto their feet. James Freeman, first and 10 from the 32. We're inside 10 minutes to play. And Freeman finds McCollum again, who drops it. And McMillian gets nailed for the penalty. Bragg Rockwell at linebacker from Fairhopen. James Freeman, second and eight. Nice pump fake. Interception. Did he get it? Nope. No catch. Third and eight from the 49. 9.08 on the clock. James Freeman trying his best to get that zero off the scoreboard. There it is. Nice completion there to Charlie Foreman. His first grab of the day. His friends call him ears. What a name. Second and ten. Freeman back to pass. Finds an open receiver. Hey, that combination, Charlie Foreman. Again, and another flag down on the play. What's the call this time? That short uh, five to seven yard hitch pattern. What you do, if you come up too quickly, Mark McMillan last time played it very well. Third and twenty. From the 45. Freeman looking for a prayer, and it's answered, but uh, not enough. It was caught by Rodney Lloyd. He's pushed out of bounds. I tell you what. Big that, play. That's criminal. Hitting a poor lady on the sideline. Fourth down. James Freeman completes the pass to McCollum, and he wrestles his way, keeping him in bounds for a first down. Gain of 11. They take pride in shutouts. Blitz. Freeman had an open receiver, and he gets tied up. Penalty on Charles Gardner. Looked like a pretty good call from up here. First and goal from the four. Crowd is on their feet. Handoff. No fake handoff. Freeman scores. There goes the shutout. And the Cajuns are on the board, and the crowd is certainly raging right now. Here goes Freeman. He's got the play. They've talked it over. It's 22-6. The pitch left, they were talking about the option, and oh my, he gets nailed and stopped short by Ephraim Thomas. What a hit. Alabama continues to have their problems in the fourth quarter, being outscored 42 to six thus far this season. There it is, looks pretty good, but Alabama falls on it. Nice try. Thank you, Mike. The spread was 16 and a half for those of you who keep up with those things. Danny Woodson fumbles the ball out of bounds. So well, that's Danny's best fumble this year. Danny calling the play, third and two. Junior Sewell in there along with Chris Anderson. Danny's going to keep it himself and fall forward, and it's going to be close. It, it, it depends whether they get one of those marks that Southwest got a little <laughs> while ago. Second down and eight. Philip Doyle is getting the old leg warm. Chris Anderson scoots forward for a first down, or at least close to it. Second and nine from the 25. We're inside three and a half minutes. 22 to 6 the score. Martin Houston having a good ball game. Battles forward to the 12 yard line. Martin Houston brought down by Ken Fogg, young man wearing number 51. There you see him. Well, no, he just tripped over. He Fogg. rolled him. Rolled him. He's playing a good game, Mr. Fogg. That time, they get a little wild up the Raging Cajun, stopping Junior Sewell for a loss. 35 yard attempt for Philip Doyle. The hold by Jeff Wall. Good hold, good kick. He's done it again. The man of the hour, the tower of power, Philip Doyle, 25 to 6. University of Illinois. 
three busy fellas. And there's another completion. Freeman to McCollum. Gain of seven yards. You know, the gamblers in this world uh, who bet on Alabama, it was 16 and a half. So they were sweating it out until that final field goal. 25-6, Freeman. Whoa, great catch by Quinn McCollum. Nice grab. Holds on to the ball. Big play. McCollum now has seven catches for 100 yards on the day. He's been busy. And he's pushed out of bounds by McMillian and tackled now. Rockwell and McMillian on the grab. Good coverage by the secondary. Rolling right, James Freeman. Is there a man? Interception. Interception. Steve Webb brings it back to the seven-yard line. Steve Webb. Nice play by the big guy, eight-yard return. Steve was in Holt. They played high school ball against each other. There's a fumble snap by Danny Woodson. 15 kicks, 14, 13, 12, 11. They're going to let it run. You see the clock in your lower right-hand corner. Can I cut the cake now? Please. I've been trying to cut the cake since the second quarter, but you guys wouldn't let me. <laughs> there it is. It's all over. The tie, 25, the Cajuns, 6. The spread was 16 and a half. The tie beat the spread. Philip Doyle, the man of the hour, we said that before, with six field goals. Could have been worse. But when you get a win on the road, before a fired-up crowd like this, you're going to take it.